Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how I set up my watercolor palette. Um, my palette is based on the watercolor palette that you can buy at the Ghibli Museum in Japan. Um, since I'm a huge fan of um, the work of Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki's watercolor works. So since you can't buy it anywhere online, I did some research and you can actually find the list um, of the colors that are in that set online. Um, the link will be down below. Um, the link also features some watercolor tips from Hayao Miyazaki himself. Um, they are in a tiny booklet which you get when you buy the watercolor set at the Studio Ghibli Museum. So let's start. You will need one painting palette. Um, I'm using a Reeves plastic um, palette but you can use any other palette that you want. Um, I'm just using that one because it was just two dollars when I bought it. Um, so let me just show you my old palette. Um, this is the first palette that I did with with these watercolors um, but I'm going to show it to you with a new one and you will need the Holbein transparent watercolors. Um, I personally think that getting the set of 24 tubes will get you closest to the original Ghibli set um, but you can also buy them separately if you want to. Um, the set costs around $50 or 50 euros, um, 55 euros, I think. Um, so they are quite pricey, but they last a long time. Like I set up this palette in back in December, um, and except for the black, every other color is still there. Um, so these are actually really long lasting. So now I'm just going to show you the colors that are in here, but also the ones that are featured in the Studio Ghibli set. So you will need Crimson Lake, Vermilion, Permanent Yellow Lemon, Permanent Yellow Deep, Yellow Ochre, Yellow Grey, Cobalt Green, Permanent Green Number 1, Compose Blue, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Deep, Cobalt Blue Hue, Prussian Blue, Light Red, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, and lastly Ivory Black. So the Ghibli set has additionally to these colors that I showed you just now, the colors Opera, Permanent Yellow Orange, Cadmium Green Deep, Bright Violet, and Davis Grey. Then there are also Permanent Green number 3, Cobalt Green, Yellow Shade and Violet Grey, which are sadly not produced anymore. So instead of Permanent Green number 3, I'm using Permanent Green number 2 and for Cobalt Green Yellow Shade, I am just going to use the Cobalt Green. So for this palette we have already covered 17 out of 20 spots that you have in this palette. So if you have um, a palette of 24 you can use every color that it is in the set. But since I'm using a palette which only has 20 spots um, I can choose now between the remaining colors. I'm using John Brilliant number two, as I said, permanent green number two, and I'm switching cobalt blue for the mineral violet. So you can also choose between the remaining colors that are in the set. So these are Rose Matter, Terre Verde. Virgin Hue and Chinese White, which I never use and I will probably never use. Um, I will also list the colors that I'm using in this palette down below. 
but now let's just get the color on the palette. So for this step you just um, want to put evenly sized blobs in every part of um, the palette that you're using. Um, you can switch it up however you like, um, but I feel that this is um, the palette that works best for me. I haven't switched it ever since December um, because it worked so well. But if you just want to switch the colors, you can just do that. So the colors usually take around five to seven days to completely dry. So I usually leave them on the windowsill. Um, and that's basically how I make my palette. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was a help to some of you. And I also hope this wasn't too confusing so let me know down in the comment section um, what you think of this video and I will see you in the next video bye bye